Okay, guys, hello, welcome to War Robots. Welcome back to your man Jack in the middle. And um, just today, basically, um, let me jump straight to it <laughs> over here. All right, so I have a crazy lineup in front of me right now. All right, so here I am talking out of turn. Okay, basically, what's going on? If you guys look in the top right hand corner of your screen here it says i'm in diamond league one guys so for those who you're familiar with war robots you know exactly what that is um for those of you who are not it um it's it's pretty much means i'm moving up in the rank so i just wanted to show you guys before i actually and actually i'm moving pretty quickly um i'm flying right through diamond league um you guys saw i did a video the other day i was like I couldn't believe I made it to go League One. Now I'm all the way at Diamond League One. And okay, so take a look at that score. 33,161 trophies. I only need 4,000, actually 3,200 trophies. And I'm going to show it to you guys right now. And this is so that's the urgency with this video because right now I'm or so I'll explain basically what's happening. So up next is Expert League Three. I only need 3,200 trophies to make it to Expert League 3, guys. And uh, so that's going to make me an official guide for War Robots. I'm, I'm just messing around with you guys, really. But I'm, I'm just kind of a little bit proud of it, proud of what's going on. So I, want, I wanted to show you the hanger that got me to that place. This, by no means, is the hanger that got me that get me to that place. Basically, what's happening right now, um, we're going through an event. Ultimately, what we get is a hover hover butt i actually got one hover butt through um so basic anyway so one thing at a time on your screen here i'm going for the orkan after the orkan we have the storm um a storm another storm and then a hover butt i'm going for the orkan here and i need to capture 45 beacons so pretty much i'm on a suicide mission um sorry for any any of my any blue teammates that that see this video and, and actually see what's going on so i'm basically on a suicide mission but not complete suicide i have two big brawlers in here from my original hangar the leo and the bulgazari all right level 10 level 9 with some pretty upgraded weapons on there to to help me out in in the match and help my teammates out but three of my um and this guy is pretty much a permanent member so what when i show you guys my correct hanger which i'm going to show you in a second he's he is actually a permanent member of my real hanger but i have so he's a beacon runner and then i have two additional beacon runners to help me capture some additional beacons should the case should the need be in um you know for for this particular task that i'm on I do have a hover robot. If you guys check the top screen here, it says speed up hover upgrade to level six. So I did get a hover robot. Hopefully you guys, and I, I, I hopefully the video is coming out in order. So the video that you guys saw, um, the last video for ro war robots was a video when I was taking you guys through and showing you offers, a video about offers. And I was showing you that, you know, um, should you, should you spend gold or should you do the workshop points? Basically, you know, you, you, you could trade, you could buy things for cash. I think there's a cash price in here. So there's real, real money cash value prices in here. There are, there are component for, these are for all for components, but actually, so it's cash for, cash for gold, cash for um, a weapon here, cash for gold here. And, um, and then um, you have, sometimes it's cash for actual robots, but these is, right, so this is gold for components here. And so what we've been doing lately with the new weapons that they've been coming out, this is the the, the, the um the bill that we're particularly interested in right now. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little bit wordy. We're gonna go on, on track and I, I think we're I'm gonna run a match for you guys. Um and I'll, and I'll let you guys right now I'm using the headphones, but I'll I'll plug out the headphones, let you guys hear the game sound, and hopefully be quiet when I go and match. Alright, so this is what we were comparing. If I'm not mistaken, the same deal should be at the back also when we check it out for 1,100 components. So so the, the thing I showed you guys last night was um, whether or not 300 gold is equal to 1,100 components. So if you guys want to see that, um, go check out that video. But what we're going to do is now, and here's the deal. I'm going to go back here and I am going to pick up this deal here for the 1,100 components. All right, and that's what I did for the hover butt pretty much. That actually, all right, let me get right back to it and I'll do a quick edit. This is a very good deal you guys see here. This is actually the deal that I use along with some luck from the chest to get the hover butt. 
uh, 300 workshop points for um, you know for some storms and for a hover butt and that's what I did so I do have storms already I'm working for more storms right now but I'm going to take you guys over to the chest and show you the storage now so here we are in the chest you come into the chest here you click on storage and you guys see you do a, you get videos I use all my videos to, to increase my upgrade speed so we're going into the storage and here I am we're moving very very much forward to getting um, a gust I think it's one gust most likely it's a gust and a um, and a redeemer and uh, so um really we're looking forward to getting some of these weapons and trying them out uh, and um right now the redeemer is a heavy weapon i'm hoping that um that was that's gonna be do a lot of damage for my leo that i love so much all right so let me go over and fix up my hanger right now show you guys my diamond league one hanger that they claiming that i that i have all right so i'm um, so going to change out a few butts and i'll see you guys in a second okay guys so here we are we're back this is my diamond league one setup guys let me take you in give you a close give you an overall view of everything all right so it's my 11 11 gareth my level 10 leo we're over here now level 9 bulgazari level 8 fujin and my level seven Leo. And the, the setup I'm using is whatever my robot level is, I make sure that the heavy weapon is one one upgrade above. So if you notice on my Gareth, let's start with the Gareth, he's a level eleven. My Orkin is level twelve. And um he my Gareth is eleven. My Magnum is level ten. It's just this is just for me to enjoy myself. And the upgrades take a little bit of time, so it's just for me to um enjoy myself. Basically, one thing I wanted to mention to you guys. Um once you get to silver league silver league one you want to you want you you don't you need any weapons you any weapons you're using you want to make sure they're above level six at that point because uh weapons under level six they just don't hit hard enough anymore all right so i'm on our leo level 10 leo level 11 thunder and then um aphids are level nine i just the other day i started to upgrade my my other aphid but that was a mistake um no, no worries well but uh, it, it can't be a mistake the higher the level go the better it, the better it is right my bulgazari it carries three of the same weapons so so i considered all his weapons heavy weapons so my bulgazari is level nine all his weapons level 10. fujin carry all all medium slot weapons like the bulgazari all medium slot weapons fujin is level eight so all all his or her fujin i call my robots girls even the leos um so all all her weapons level nine um again with the leo leo level seven so i make sure that his punisher is level eight and um in this case he is wearing the punishers that used to belong to this leo over here and i, I found out that the aphids was a harder build so it's, it's basically um and I, I don't know if this is the, the right video for me to talk about this I, I probably will do it basically um i found that the magnums which you see that he's wearing a magnum here on the gareth the magnum pretty much is superior to the punisher bill and then i found that the aphids is superior to the to the um to the magnum bill so it, it's just the sequence i love the leos but as the as the game goes along because of the map layouts and we're going to go in and jump into a map right now because of the map layouts you find that the leo is a little bit slow moving and and you know just to keep exciting so i would love the leos if all i was cared for all i cared about was the win matches i would definitely put another leo in my lineup but um you know I'm, I'm trying to explore different avenues right now just because he's a little bit slow in the gameplay and for me right now i still rather do random matching basically team death matches back so when when team death matches here and i think i hit team death match by accident when team death matches here i rather go to random mode and um that's kind of where i shine team death match you have a lot of snipers and long range people and i don't have very much weapons that's able to keep up with that right now so i feel like i i, I fall behind a little bit so let me get, let you guys get some game sound i'm gonna be quiet and I'll see you guys after the match.
doing a recording. So there you have it guys, welcome to Diamond League 1, alright, so tough competition, maybe I missed up a little bit in the beginning with the food and jumping out in the middle of the plasma like that, and then I'm um, focusing on the Ansel shield instead of the other arm, uh, instead of the, 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 the bear griffin that I could have shot down, because I probably was able had enough life to hit down the griffin time, so I may probably made a few mistakes on that run right there, um, but you know, that's, that's a competition we fade in Diamond League. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I might continually be moving every once in a while. You do you do win a match or not, you know, and then depending how you go at it, depending on the teammates you have, you, you continually move up. But uh, for me, right now, I'm kind of focused on kind of relaxing, having fun a little bit. So, 
I, I am um, basically, I, I'm not going to be too worried about crazy upgrading my weapons and making sure I win every match right now. Right now, I think I'm at a good place to kind of just settle down a little bit, have fun with the game, try out some of these new bots that we're, we're coming in, some of these new weapons that, that's coming in, and, and just experiment a little bit right now and just kind of hang out in the, at the level I am at right now. So thank you guys for joining me. Um, this video is a little bit cut back um, as far as you know, a step back from the from the level of the videos I've been making recently. But I wanted to make sure right now there's a big event going on. It's consuming a lot of time, and I just wanted to make sure I do get a video out there for you. So uh, I hope you guys appreciate the effort, and uh, you know, like the video if you do. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. All right, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Please go ahead and um, look in the description, find my link to my other channel jack in the middle live and i do exclusively live streams on that channel you know and um so if you guys want to see and i and i even during the event right now i will be doing live streams sometimes all right but anyways the video is dragging on thank you guys for hanging out with me i will catch you guys in the next one bye bye